All right, what is up everyone? So today I'm gonna to be taking you guys through a full day of eating. So I'm actually just dropping my calories from 2,400 to 2,300 today. It's somewhere in the 2,400 range to somewhere in the 2,300 range because my weight loss has been slowly dropping or and it's becoming plateaued right now. So I'm gonna drop it for a week. If that doesn't seem to get better, I'm gonna shoot the maintenance calories for a week and then drop back down to 2,400. So um, I just woke up. Not too long ago, I've weighed myself. Made my pre workout. I'm gonna drink this. I won't always eat a Rice Krispie treat before I go, so today I'm not. Um, today I also work. I work four to nine, and I can eat at my job. So it's no big deal, but I will show you guys, like, that's gonna be part of it because I'm gonna have to pack certain things and we'll get through it. Um, to preface this, I know I'm flat toning because. I watch it every day. But to also preface this, I want to say that my main concern is my protein intake. I want to hit at least a gram per pound of body weight. So about 163 grams. Um, usually I will go over that, which is fine. I don't usually try and push over like 1.3 because then it kind of becomes a little useless and there's no point. So I will really try and stick to that region. Um, when you look at carbs and fat, it ends up not really mattering to me as much. And my micronutrients suffer from that too. Thought I'll be taking a multivitamin very shortly. Once I get it, it's shipping. So that'll help out with that. And I've been expanding a little better, but I'll tell you guys what a usual day would look for me. Um, there are certain things that I have almost every day or every day I work, so they're quick, they're easy. And I try to spread my meals out so I can eat a lot and not sit there hungry because nobody wants to feel starved and that's not good for you. So I drink my pre, get to the gym. I might throw in a handful of clips from today's session and then I will get back to you guys with meal number one, which will be after the gym. All right, just finished my workout. It was uh, isolation wise, it was pretty good. Start to feel hungry around the start of my cardio, but that's pretty usual at this point. Um, some days it's worse than others, but it is what it is, because once I hit cardio, I'm like, I'm already you know, super close to home. Um, so I'm gonna go home, make some food. I've planned out the majority of my day of what I'm gonna eat, which I will show you guys on my fitness pal where I track it and when I actually make it itself. Um, why I'm holding a screwdriver? Like I said, my isolations moved great. My squats did not. Part of it's, I hit a deadlift PR yesterday on program, um, just cause things felt good. So I still moved it at the RP I wanted. Um, so I guess part of that, and ever since I started benching three days a week, left shoulder ain't having it. My wrists don't like it. So wrists, shoulders, hips, everything was kind of just tight today. And, I'm missing a screw. I have the screw, but I pulled my belt out and it flew out and I said, that's not good. So I hit two reps when I was supposed to hit three reps for RP8 for my top set of squats. And then I just bagged it, which it is what it is. Everyone has off days, but everything else was good. Pump was there. Um, the sauna was working again today. So I got 20 minutes of stairs in and about 12-ish minutes of sauna. I don't really track my sauna time. I try to just hit 10 minutes past that. It's more like, when do I want to leave? Because it's hot. Um, so I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna make some food, and then I will, well, I'm gonna show you guys what I make and whatnot, so you'll see that. Um, till then. All right, so first meal of the day, six ounces of chicken, two servings of just some normal ketchup, and some fat-free cheddar. 
on some tortillas. So I'll do a layer, a layer of ketchup, then cheese, then chicken, then finish off the ketchup and cheese. And then I'll just eat whatever leftover chicken doesn't fit. Um, I've done this with beef, I've done this with chicken. It's really easy. And it's great for the diet, as long as your beef isn't super fatty. And of course, chickens are going to be. I'll be back with the final product though. All right, so here we are, finished product. I just throw it in the oven, 350, six minutes. Real easy, melts the cheese, gets the tortilla a little crispy, cause you know, we like it that way. Um, I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna throw the, the like total calories and the macros, just the protein, carbs, fat up on the screen and some text for all my meals today. And then I'll give you guys like an end total, break down into more macronutrients and all that stuff I'll show you guys. Um, but here it is. There's four little squares, triangles, whatever you want to call them. Um, it's tasty, it's easy, it goes down fast, especially because I'm most hungry after I train. So I can take this down. It'll leave me full for a couple hours and then I'll eat again, so. All right, meal number two. So I had to change a little bit. Originally it was gonna be a roast beef sandwich. But the red beef was old, so I'm not going to eat it. Instead, we now got some turkey, lunch meat, and some American cheese under here on some bread. Um, the thing about these days where I work is I'll include a little bit more fat in the meals, where it won't just be fat-free cheese the entire day, because I need the calories. Um, because I don't just want to have to continually eat constantly. So if I can spread it out, put a little more calories in, I'll choose to do that instead. Um... So this will be a bit fattier. So will the sandwich I have at work be. And usually the sandwich at work does have cheese in it because I, fat-free cheese tastes terrible, but it's good for the diet. So I like to heat it up in a sandwich press, which I still did to this anyways. And that makes it more doable. So I'm gonna eat this. And then I'll see you guys at work probably. I'm probably not gonna show any sort of making of the work food because of the fact that I'll probably be more in a rush to get it all done because I have a pack of these and I'll like make some popcorn and stuff. But I'll show you guys and breakdown for this will be on the screen somewhere at this point. And another little update about this meal number two. This will be the second water bottle since I've been home. I finished my shaker and a half at the gym. And after finishing that water bottle, I'm at about 54 ounces of water. I try to get at least a gallon down. So I'm probably going to finish this before work that'll put me into the 70s and then i'll probably have three-ish water bottles at work maybe four and then i'll push me up to my gallon so water's important get you good pumps so you know you get your veins flowing and all that and for all around health it's just important to be hydrated it also helps you stay full when you're cutting so if you're like man i'm really hungry try drinking some water that might help it and that might actually take your hunger away all right i'm about to head to work one thing i wanted to jump in and say is like i weigh the majority of my food because it's more accurate so it's easier that way i can log it easier it's just better that way um but like don't just get used to uniform normally i don't weigh a lot of my lunch meat because i know that like i've weighed so many that it's usually just one ounce but i just threw the ham that i'm gonna have on there 0.7-ish ounces of slice, so like just be aware that it's not always what you think. And now granted, I've never used this ham before, it's got more fat than I normally would think, so like, you know, stuff like that. But unless you get the same thing every time, just be aware that it's not always going to be uniform and whatnot because there's different things that I'm weighing is just going to be superior than just looking at it and going, here's one, two, bam, this is going to be different. Um, that being said, if it works for you to not weigh it, then let it work for you. Do what's gonna make your body better and what's gonna help you sustain your diet. As long as the diet functions and works the way you need it to, I see no issue in how you do it. Now, if you're going for prep and you're going to go compete in a show, then you need to like break it down more macro-wise and whatnot. You probably need to track a little more. But if you're just dieting because you wanna put on some size or you wanna cut down, do what's going to work for you. Do what you're going to be able to sustain long term because that's going to be better. All right. Clearly at work now. Um, I've already finished about three quarters of the water. It wasn't all the way from when I got here. 
we have another sandwich coming in. It is a ham and cheese. Um, only one slice of cheese this time, and it was two because just for the fact that calories, fat, and all that stuff. Um, it is ham. It is four ounces of ham. The turkey earlier was four ounces, by the way. And I'm gonna eat this up. And I have five other things to eat while I'm here, so I'm kind of gonna space it out almost every half an hour to eat. Um, so I'm gonna get into this. This will be pretty simple. I'm drinking some water while I'm here, get some steps in, just pacing. And that's that. I'll check back every time I eat. All right, clearly at work now. Um, I've already finished about three quarters of the water. It wasn't all the way from when I got here. We have another sandwich coming in. It is a ham and cheese. Um, only one slice of cheese this time earlier was two because just for the fact that calories, fat, and all that stuff. Um, it is ham. It is four ounces of ham. The turkey earlier was four ounces, by the way. And I'm gonna eat this up. And I have five other things to eat while I'm here, so I'm kinda gonna space it out almost every half an hour to eat. Um, so I'm gonna get into this. This will be pretty simple. I'm drinking some water while I'm here, get some steps in, just pacing. And that's that, I'll check back every time I eat. We got a little snack number one here. I'm kind of been extra hungry for a little bit. I've kind of just been putting it off. Um, hoping this will give me a decent amount to be full. I mean, it's this whole bag of popcorn. This is only 100 calories too. So, you know, eat calorie less dense foods because you could stay full for longer. This is a little Orville, um, Smart Pot Popcorn. Real simple, real easy. Get you some carbs, a little bit of protein, not really any fat. So it's just hopefully just gonna keep me full for a little bit. Alright, so final takeaway on the day. Um all around, I don't think it was a bad day. I'm gonna end up finishing this water bottle and another one, so I'm gonna be at like 159 ounces of water. And even then when I get home, I might have a little before I go to bed if I'm thirsty. So, very happy with the water intake. Um, the fat's decently high, but it's not the worst I've seen it. And the protein is there, so I'm happy with it. I'm even getting that watermelon in today is nice because of the vitamins and whatnot, so that'll definitely help me out. All around, I think it was a pretty solid day. It's a pretty usual work day. Um, besides that, I'm, I'm kind of happy with it. This is what I've been doing, and on that 2,400 calorie, I would lost about a pound a week for three or four weeks, for I think it was three weeks straight, and then I started to plateau. Um, I got that weight, like that calorie from a website. I'll actually plug the website in the com, not in the comments, in the description for you guys so that if anyone wants to go check that out, go for it. And honestly, I'm gonna lose this 100 calories every day. And if it doesn't go back up, then I might like do a body recomp, shoot back up the maintenance for a week and then go back to cutting at the 2400. And, you know, keep you guys updated. I'm sure you'll see more what I eat in a day because I think it's important to show. Um, of course, the macros aren't going to be like, oh, you guys should eat this. I'm on prep, I'm eating this, you guys should eat this. It's not like that. Eat what's gonna work for your body because we're all gonna be a little bit different. And I think that's important to understand. But honestly, I think it was a pretty good day. I'm happy with it. This video was pretty simple um, and not bad at all, so. Thank you guys for watching, especially if you stayed this far. I hope you have a great day and subscribe. My Instagram, I'll throw up there. I got that 20% off code. So just, you know, live life, do what you want to do. Subscribe for that journey because it's not stopping.